from Cake. All right, we are back into the game doing the live cut on OBS. I know that's not how you do it, so, but I'll figure it out one of these days. Anyways, saves us from jumping into the editing software. We just do it that way. Hey, here we go. We are rocking our way through the free world. And by the free world, I mean the Dwarven Metropolis. We're almost done with this floor. Let's have a quick look around. I think we are. And are we done with the Imp's quest? I believe we are as well. Or maybe we just never did it yet. Where are you? I forgot. It's been a couple days. Hmm. Maybe we did. Anyways, I think I was like making um, inventory space last time I checked. So let's see what's up with this ring. Okay. Oh yeah. We're blast wave. I mean, we're disintegration. Yes. Love it. You honestly kind of want to skip at the moment. Let's see. Here we are, floor 19, right before the boss. There's our torch too, okay, how are we doing for food? Pretty good, oh, we can make a meat pie soon. What do we have, alchemy pot. Okay, so that's gonna be the second floor of the demon halls. I kinda like that, how the alchemy pot is always on the same relative floor for region. So this one is on the second one. Oh my goodness, don't love that at all. Hmm, so I haven't been using these greaves yet, but they are blindweed, so we'll go Make you blind, and we should be able to walk away, and it doesn't know where we are. It's also crippled, so. Nice. It's actually really good. It's basically like a not quite as good Thieves Armband, but it has a, it says a three tile radius. So can I do that from like one to from like out here? I'm going to test that one of these days. Okay, so it teleported us one room over. <laughs> Great. Actually, no, we were way up here, so it teleported us a little bit further. What are you? Something I threw down the well? I think so. My inventory was full earlier. I'm just waiting for this to identify. Sure, I'll eat a little bit of food because it doesn't last very long anyway, so it's not like we're going to get overhealed by it. Aha. I kind of want to... Well, first off, let's test it. Do we get three? One, two, three? Yeah, we do. Nice. But I just want to talk to you because, yeah, if it says golems, I want to make sure to kill the golem. I mean, get the quest before I kill this golem. Ooh, that was a big hit. And then we have the projecting enchantment, so we can just do that. I mean, it's not an enchantment. It is, um, when you have the disintegration stuff as a battle mage, you get it. Great little, okay, only need three more. What? It just, ring of arcana. Hmm, very nice. Guess I come back for it. No, we could also just throw, no, do we do, I'll just drop you for now. You know what? I'll drop you too. Our inventory is too full, but we are definitely coming back to the imp, so that's a fine place to drop stuff. Which is not the best. Use some more. Definitely could use some more. You, my friend, are going to live back there. I have no, no need for you. Should we even put it to sleep? Do we have a sleep? No, that's unfortunate. Oh, we do. Right. Yeah, so now it won't like teleport to other rooms and just mess me up. I can just stay in there. I really don't like giant champions, even after the changes. Um. Okay, so interesting play for this one, maybe. So we drop the ward in here and kind of step back. We get a vision on it. We can kill it from outside. Nice. Assassin's Blade. I often don't trust that there's not a trap under that stuff. Okay, so this is a fun play. We open the door and then we shoot the ward in here. Get us some vision and then we can take him out from the... Uh, with our disintegration wand. Hmm, stylus. Oh, are we stylus? Swiftness? I'm pretty... I'm okay with swiftness. Okay, this could be some good loot skis. Let's see here. Hmm. Brimstone. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Hmm. <laughs> Wish I had a good way to cheaper way to kill these. 
Like I would really like to line them up and hit them both at the same time, but I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe we can get it. Nah. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to end up swapping into that. I like Brimstone. We can just run over traps. We've got the strength for it. I'm not really taking too much damage. You know, I could also be OP and just like throw a couple scrolls on it. Oh, we don't have a remove cursor right now? Unless that's Manaz. Sorry, folks. I kind of forgot all my stuff. Yeah, Manaz is remove cursor. That's probably worth going into. Hmm. I'll think about it for a little while longer because I... Oh, ow, ouch. Nice uh, misclick there, right? I moved a second time when I didn't even need to because I'm just clicking on my keyboard real fast and almost get killed. So that's definitely how you want to play the game. Oh, beautiful. Look at that shot. Nice, two at once. So that's going to be healing potion range for sure. Healing potion. Ooh, wanted warning just went off. Now we got vision on you. Aha, great. What was I doing here? Nothing. I feel like maybe I should just only click because I never click twice fast like that. It's always a keyboard thing. Hmm. I think this room is actually done. We should burn it. My inventory is too full. Oh, because we got to go back, go back and buy. That's what's going on. To buy the, the bag. Okay. That's going to be fun. Good thing we don't have enough food for it. Oh, someone's in there. Did that door just open or close? Let's destroy all these bookshelves. It just opened. Ooh, there you are. Let's hide. <laughs> oh no, look at all these guys. Okay, what's the play? What's the play? Probably, oh, 12%, huh? Okay, so we don't have much more of those left to us. Okay, corrosion while it's crippled for sure. This one I kind of just got to get run away from, huh? Okay, it lost track of us there, so we could like shoot the corrosion over. No, we can't shoot it over there, unfortunately. But we can use the projecting staff. Oh yeah. And then corrosion on it. Drop it one ahead of it, maybe. Oh, five. That means this is like plus one, right? That's pretty good. James and so it's probably just gonna teleport me over. We corrosion here. Oh, auto charge it. Well, not the best situation we've ever been in. Kind of relying on our chains here. I think um, since we're out of charges, though, we probably just sneak on out of here and maybe we go with uh, upgrade scroll. We get some big hits. Here we go. Well, I kind of want to collect my loot, so chains back over. Hmm. I'll just run this way. This is where we got teleported out of earlier. There, that pesky trap right there. Unfollowed by a paralyzing trap. Great. <laughs> pesky area. So let's um let's at least get the, the this stuff. Well, hell, am I really going to run all the way up to the merchant? I think I am. Actually, think I am. In that case, I should probably drop some things and pick up the stuff I'm going to sell. Where's the stairs down? There they are. Okay. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I am messing up. Whenever I use the keyboard like that, I end up uh, misclicking. Okay, no more keyboard. Keyboards for zero challenge, just like going as fast as you can.
We don't the quest. Oh, so close. All right, I'm gonna drop you. Think about transmuting that. We'll see. Let's we'll see if we end up doing that. Let's see who else. I'm, what else am I gonna drop? Let's drop you. And drop. You. I sell these probably. And I might keep. Probably gonna sell that. Hmm. Nah. Probably gonna sell that as well. Really curious what we're gonna get from the imp first. Actually, definitely gonna keep the element. Maybe we just go pop off this thing. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that's good for like if you want to see if something's cursed. Because it'll identify it for you in your inventory there. So I mean, we basically knew. Well, at least we can also make our meat pies when we run up. So I'll probably just pause it while I do my little adventure here. Be right back. Alrighty, I hiked all the way back up, sold one stuff, bought a bunch of stuff, and hiked back down to run the quest. Bring a sharp shooting plus two. Pretty good. Um, unfortunately, I'm not really game for that at the moment. I'm not really going into throwing weapons. Because, you know, kind of all in with the staff here. Um, yeah, so. Still not sure what I want to, I want to finish off this build. I think probably this. Let's go ahead and um, go ahead and I guess we have to like double remove first here, kind of a bummer. But and since we have 18 strength, we can just put it on. And it's gonna affect our hunger a little bit, so we're not gonna move as fast. But I think it's gonna be good. I really like brimstone, especially when we're fighting like the fire fists and stuff later on. And so oh. Oh man, I should have made those uh, shrouding fog potions while I was up at the uh, sh at the shop there. The alchemy pot there. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, I should have done something. I could have done a lot of stuff. Any any of them would have been good. <laughs> just should have just done something. Okay, well, do I run up there? So the problem I have is. I have a lot of damage, but once I run out of charges, I'm and I'm out of chains here. I don't really have much, you know, for kiting and running away and snaring and slowing and stuff. Um. Well, I guess I could use flock and uh, shock. Yeah, I could. I, I could get some full recharges there. Got the corrosion. And I'm also not very tanky. This is probably plus one, maybe could be plus zero. Um. Well, let's see how we do. Torch wise, last torch. So I'm curious, maybe I just go ahead and drop corrosion. Well, it's also max staff. We can just probably blast blast them as much as we can. Okay, so you corroded and we just shoot through you and your guy there. And we can, we're actually gonna have to remove out of the corrosion personally. <laughs> maybe we can take you out. We shoot them both at the same time. There we go. Good. I guess we can like weave in a couple melee attacks when we get the chant. We got a monk coming at us already. That's not good. Oh, it that's that's what it was. I had used the upgrade scroll, so it was it was buffed. That's why I thought it was stronger than it really was. It's almost good just to rush the king down to the second phase. Maybe I'll do that. Which is, is it 200 hit points when that happens? It's nice when they're all lined up, but I can't tank this, actually. Must be 100? Okay, yeah. So all the ads die when it gets down to 100. So that's kind of why it's worth doing that. Of course, I should probably heal up. But I do like healing when I'm taking damage, actually. So get up over here, see what our options are for these guys. Even though you're invul you're invulnerable, do I still get a charge? No, looking for the uh, the battle mage charges here. A little warding up here, maybe I can get a warlock with it. So I want to melee these guys, but it doesn't seem to want to let me because I'm next to the king or something. That's kind of really annoying, isn't it? It's like drop some corrosion here in the middle. 
Ooh, that's a big hit. And can we change out is the question. Yes, we can. Now we can melee him. Get some recharges going if we hit, of course. Yeah, you know, I should have put the, the rose on. I mean, this is worthless because I was, it's not charged. Yeah, I'm just being stubborn and slightly unstrategic. Maybe we just change and like we can get a good shot here. Like, bam, that way. Good shot. And let me just get a hit. Uh, just come on, get it. Nice. Actually, pretty decent time to re get some recharges. So we're gonna need them uh, once the uh, warlocks and stuff spawn. All right, first face down. We got a monk coming from down there, and who knows who's over there? Maybe a warlock. Uh, we just enough time to equip this for the greaves here, and if. Definitely summon it. I outfitted it, but no, I did not outfit it. Dang, I thought I had some stuff set aside. Yeah, so it's it's just gonna die. It's pretty much just a meat shield at best. Got a warlock coming there, which is nice. I can eventually shoot through. In the meantime, let's drop some corrosion down here. No, I can't shoot through there. Okay, can we drop it? Hmm. Drop it like over here, make these guys walk through it. I want to punch this guy, but no, dang it, it won't let me. This, the projecting is a little tricky, like I want to melee, but I can't choose particularly where I'm going with it. Just take out the warlock here. How nice they're dying in there, it's great. Nice. Maybe we can take out the monk before it gets too crazy. Well, the ghost did a little something. Okay, one more is that will get you. Be a big line up here. We should be able to get a bunch of them at once. Almost. Got another healing potion in us. Should zap it to, for the guaranteed kill. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. Okay, we got a warlock coming down there. Probably have to like, step up a second. Or we could even throw a bee. Bee's gonna hopefully go for the monk once it spawns. I'm going to zap where I think the Warlock is. Oh, I think I missed. Yeah, I'm just going to heal. Yeah, I'm, I'm wasting these healing potions because I didn't prep appropriately earlier. No, you're not on me. You're supposed to fight the bee. What you doing? Shoot a warden so I can see where that Warlock is. There it is. Can I burn it down? Almost. Okay, this is where I'm at. That's just what I thought was going to happen. I'm going to run out of charges, and then I'm going to be in trouble. Um, Liquid Flame. Not quite good enough there. Toxic Gas, though. I could do some work. Toxic Gas, and I could potentially... I don't know. Freeze a minute? No, because it'll once they take damage, it'll break. So. Let's just uh, punch someone that might actually die. Gives us a charge. Let's just take out you. Okay, not too bad. It looks like the monk swapped uh, attention there, so. Probably better off fighting these and getting the uh, golems attacking me. I keep looking at my stuff like there's something that's going to help me. Oh, there is something that's going to help me. Okay, so let's get to a safe spot first. Interesting thing about flock is it also um, it blocks them from getting near me, I believe. Throw it like right here. Yeah, they get stuck in there, so I'm I'm safe right here. And then we could even like shoot ourselves and give us our, ourselves a big shield. And then throw and get a full on recharge. So I hear shock, shock. Put some shock in there. Bam. Fully recharged. And disintegrate does more damage the more targets it passes through. This wand shoots a beam that pierces it. The go farther, the more it's upgraded. 
deal bonus damage for each enemy and wall it penetrates. So now I'm actually going to even hit harder by shooting through the, uh, the, uh, the sheep. So that's pretty strong. And I, I'll just definitely go try and finish them all off here. There is there still a warlock somewhere. There's a king. Phase three now, king time. We have an aggression stone, right? Yeah, we have two of them. Exactly what we need. One for the king, one for Yogg. And do we do it now is the question. Defer to 61. It's all about um, saving enough turns and also having enough enemies available. All right, I'll do it. Because I, I want that warlock to spawn and go after the king, not me. So three turns left. 112 deferred damage remaining. I think we're going to get there. If we had to, we can go invisible. One turn left. Do they fight it? Okay, they just turned on me. And it's going to start. Yeah, I'll just go invisible. Whatever. It may only be one turn, but this is kind of in a rough fight. And I don't want to take a bunch of shots from the warlock. And these guys waiting for it. So I'll shoot it now. No, I'll just pass the turn. Great, got it. Yeah, so Shrouding Fog would have been really good, which would have been an invisibility potion. So I essentially use similar amount of resources there. Go for the torches first, and I'm going to have to come back for other stuff. This is what it is. I don't have money. Okay, moving on. I could probably squeeze in a level or two here. Always magic mapping. And maybe a uh, blast them. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Nice. Kill the demon spawner right off the bat. We could even like go up the floor and like sleep it off now and like regain, but I'm not going to do that. Yes, yeah, so the dried rose. You did me no good there. This will be really good when it actually has charges. Which we can get from the grass. Hmm, big leaf. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, this is going to have to be identified before I can wear it. Alrighty, identify. Yeah, plus one. Is it worth um, upgrading? The next three upgrades we could, but... Nah. <laughs> so wear this... I Usually it'll go well magic, but I'm feeling like elemental blast sounds like fun. And let's get like the most damage we can. How much does it cost? 35. Yeah, so it's a mid medium one. But not the most big radius, but biggest damage, most power, and also shield for each one you hit. So shield's pretty good. Power is also very good. Go max power, and then we'll go into max shield next. And let's just go ahead and throw it up there so I don't forget to use it. Now at least we're getting some charges back, right? Yeah, great. Who's in here? A bunch of people. Just in time to get blasted. Did it do any damage? I think I killed one. Oh, but it also set off a trap, which hit me pretty hard. Ooh. Okay, Evil is trying to kill me. Good shot. I guess I wish I had my elements ring on there. Let's see. For you, can we get you in a couple shots? Yikes. Get taking a lot of damage. Shoot the warding in there just to give us a little idea of what we're looking at. Yeah, the evil eyes, they're going to need to be corroded most likely. Because their charges are too strong. It should miss us there, yeah. I mean, they're resistant to the disintegration, so. Just kind of is what it is. But yeah, corrosion will take them out for us. And a hammer. <laughs> we can just slap it, slap it actually. Oh really? That hit me? Okay. You win. You win evil eye. Hey, frost potion. Do we have one in the pocket? We do, nice. Twelve percent for the blind on that. Dang. <laughs> yeah, so far actually not so good. We're definitely taking damage that we don't want to take.
We need to be able to kill stuff before it gets to us. Because we don't have a very reliable escape method at the moment. We have a better ranged weapon. Throwing spears. We do. Oh, there we go. Bolt us. Well, at least we're going to get healing potions from all the demon spawners. What is this going to be? It probably honestly is corrosion and run away. Because we don't have like really better options for these guys. Throw another one here. Okay, we're going to change away from that one. Oh, I'm going to lay a torch. It's a mimic. I guess we'll, we'll try and take it out from here. Oh, right, it's charging. Don't want to shoot when it's charging, of course. Yeah. It's uh, inefficient, but it'll do the job. That one's right in the middle there. Let's see if we can get it from here. Doesn't know where we are, which is cute. Nice. Plate armor of obfuscation. And I don't think... Did we do the blacksmith's quest? I don't think we did. We could, <laughs> we could run up there and get a plus one on our plate. Probably not worth. So this guy is going to teleport to us and smack us. I don't think there's much. What we can do about it is we can let it get closer. There we go. Now we can cripple and use our projecting enchantment here. I'll just cripple last. Find out, won't we? Cripple. Overpowered, by the way. Bolas. Oh, you know what? Sharpshooting ring just to make the bullets last longer. Probably worth and better than me hitting a little faster. Maybe. Also, we can melt these down and just repair the bullets over and over again. <laughs> That's probably what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make some of that uh, liquid metal and just keep melting those down. Transmute. I should transmute something as well. Should I transmute you? Probably. Need another rose. Get it to plus 10. Just some, got some scrolls here. Nice upgrade. Probably going on the staff. You don't, I don't know if it knows where I am yet, so maybe I can get it. Oh, it found me. What will this kill it? Please kill it. Did not kill it. Come on, hit. Nice. So we're playing a little fast and loose with our hit points. We're going to run out of these if we're not careful. Anyways, um, it's been a little tricky because we're going glass cannon, but that's how it is when you go glass cannon. It's kind of risk versus reward. Anyways, we'll keep it going, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.